So today on the table, I've got myself a 24 inch Android tablet. Now, as I say that, how did I achieve such a thing? To begin with, I've got a broken Samsung Galaxy S10. I've also got a USB-C hub, which has currently got HDMI connected up to the screen. I've got a mouse connected over here, not really necessary. I've got touchscreen input going to the back of the hub on this Dell monitor. And I have power going from the monitor back to the hub. And from there, it's feeding back all around. And we're able to use Samsung DeX in touchscreen mode. Which gives one, one a very big tablet. So if we go around the back here, I can't quite see the model number. But I do have that written down. I'll see to find that in a moment. But what can we do with it? So with it in the Android mode, if I use the mouse just so I can actually show you the whole screen as opposed to touching it, which does give in Dex it does give you very little interaction to know that you're actually touching it. So if I press and hold, I get nothing. So here's the monitor that I've actually got, which is the Dell P2418 HT. It's 1080 resolution, 16 milliseconds, 60 hertz touchscreen. And as you can see, if we load up something like Cut the Rope, we can go full screen. We'll say that there will be issues or potential issues with it. We can drag it to where we want. No. And because it's in Dex mode, it's not really expecting there to be touch screen. But there, luckily for us, there is. We'll go play. Season one, let's get into it. Pretty straightforward, bam. Was not difficult at all. Now I want to install Google Play right now. Anyway, let's move on to something a little bit more interesting. If I go to try and play Plants vs Zombie 2, it says it cannot run in dex mode. If I go here and go exit dex and minimize here and find the game, we load up full screen perfectly fine and we still have touch screen support. So I do find it odd that it refuses to load up in dex, it's like dex is constantly trying to find input. Or oh, it's constantly looking at the screen and it's refusing to acknowledge that there's actually an external touch screen connected. And from the brief bit of time I've played this game, it actually handles pretty well. So the game itself looks great, plays great. It would be a bit chaotic and just a bit large to use playing as a touch screen. But if you're sitting there with this on a coffee table, playing it with a couple of kids, I think it would actually be pretty fun. So this one doesn't actually surprise me how well that it works. So definitely very interesting with a 24 inch touchscreen. And then we'll load up something a bit more harder to play on a touchscreen. So Call of Duty Mobile on a 24 inch touch panel. Granted you could potentially hub it up and have a keyboard and mouse connected up for this particular game, but this will kind of lose the spirit of using the 24 inch touch screen. So once we load it up, we'll get into a game. My ability at this game is not very good. 
And it's also a bit harder leaning over a table to play with your head in a stuck in a 24 inch stuck monitor. <sighs> For the sheer wackiness of this setup, there is a couple of practical applications for it, but overall it is very weird to use a 24 inch monitor as a touchscreen on Android. Granted, if you have particular games that you want to play, like for example the Plants vs Zombies 2 that was played earlier, something like that would be pretty decent. Granted, if you just want a small interactive kiosk, something like that also might be useful. Have a very limited range of software installed on there even this is a simple computer, it very well may, may be worthwhile doing. The other aspect of it is getting a 24-inch touchscreen monitor is usually quite rare, and they're going to be fairly be, or a lot more cost, or costly compared to something like a 24-inch non-touchscreen model, especially that it's running at 1080 and it's only at 60 hertz. Granted, you could go towards a Type-C based monitor where you could hook it up and it has the hub or Samsung DeX load directly, but overall, it's probably not that cost effective. But just as a little play around with something I've had floating around the shop, it does seem quite interesting. Anyway, that will do, and I'll see you later. Bye.